Hey everybody, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you how I have been making um, labels for my soap chunks and my snarky chunks. Um, I've seen a few other consultants do it this way also, so I wanted to share with you um, how easy it is to do it. So um, the label size from Avery that I am using is 8160. That's the template number. They are address labels and there are 30 on a page. Um, so when you go to Avery.com, you're going to click to get to that template. You're going to put in the template number 8160. And once you get there, you want to select a blank label. All right, so the first thing that I do is I add the image of the product that I am going to make the label for. So let's go ahead and make one for sorry, not sorry. And I make this a little bit bigger and adjust the size so that it shows up the full size of the snarky bar, okay? And then over here what I do is I add text. So the text box that it creates is really huge. So I size it up so that it's gonna fit over here. And I select a different font because I don't, that one takes up too much space. So I go down here and I like this bubblegum sands. It takes up a little less space. Um, I put it in the center. And then what I do is I go to the website and I look at the product itself, the description, and I take just a piece of it and put it on the start on the label. So um, we're gonna take this part here that's gonna tell a little bit about the product. Um, we're going to need to size this down to about a size six to get everything to fit. And then you're going to copy and paste that information. And clearly we need to make that font a little bit smaller. Oh, it kept it at a 10. That's why. All right. So it tells you a little bit about the product. And then what I do is I put my website on there. Whoop, just three W's. And that's it. Now it ha I will adjust this so it looks more centered. All right, so that is now my label that I will put on my Snarky Bar samples. We're gonna go ahead and hit preview and print. If you're ready to print now, you can go ahead and print it out. Um, or you can just click save up here at the top and it will save your labels for you. To your Avery account online as a PDF and then when you're ready to print, you can go in and print that. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions about this tutorial, please leave me a comment down below. If you liked what you saw today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.